So in this video, we are going to learn how to create dynamic images with Canvas template. So guys, if you are an online content creator, this video is for you. So all type of content creators constantly requires to create a new thumbnail images for their content. It can be a blog, a video or anything like that. So using this automation guys, you can completely automate this process. So in today's video, what we are going to do, we are just going to add the details of our image and the title of the thumbnail into a Google Sheet. And after that, as we add that data, using Switchboard Canvas, we are going to create a new image. So in Switchboard Canvas, we have already created a template. And in that template, we are going to insert the same image and the title or the content which we have added in the Google Sheet. And at last, we are going to update the link of the same newly created image into a Google Sheet once again. Now guys, using this automation, you just have to enter the title and image URL in Google Sheet and automatically the thumbnails or the images will be generated. So guys, how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Public Connect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Public Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Public Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Google Sheets to Switchboard. And then just click on create. Now you can see that a workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first, we have to get the details or the data using which or the image details which we want to insert in the template image. So here guys, in my Google sheet, I am adding some titles, the, some thumbnail titles or image titles and also adding the image URL. So from here guys, first we have to get this data inside Public Connect. Now after that, using Public Connect, we are going to send these details to Switchboard Canvas so that the template which I have created in Switchboard Canvas, in this template, we can add that same text or same image title and same image as well, whose link we have added in our Google Sheet. And using the Switchboard Canvas template, we are going to generate new thumbnails automatically. And after that, at last, we are going to update the link of that same thumbnail over here back in this Google Sheet in front of that same title. So let's see how you can do that. So let's get back to Public Connect. And here in Trigger Window, in Choose App, search for Google Sheets. Select Google Sheets. And then in Trigger Event from the dropdown, select New or Updated Spreadsheet Row. After selecting a trigger event, Public Connect gave us a webhook URL. Using this webhook URL, we are going to connect our Google Sheet with Public Connect. And how you can do that? You just have to follow the help text given below over here. So just copy this webhook URL from here and we have to add this webhook URL into a Google Sheet. So after creating your Google Sheet with all the required data, just go to extensions, add-ons and click on get add-ons. After clicking on get add-ons, we will reach to Google Workspace Marketplace. And here in search app, we have to search for Public Connect Webhooks, P-A-B-B-L-Y, Public Connect Webhooks. And as you can see, Public Connect Webhooks, this add-on is already installed in my Google Sheet. You just have to install this same add-on into your own Google Sheets account. And after installing it, just refresh your Google Sheets once. This is a very important step. And after refreshing it, once again, go to extensions. And this time you can see that Public Connect Webhooks, this add-on can be seen over here. Just hover on it and click on Initial Setup. After clicking on Initial Setup, here you can see that in this window, it is basically asking us three things. First one is the selected sheet. Second one is the webhook URL. And third one is the trigger column. Now here guys, in selected sheet, by default, it has selected sheet one. This is because in this Google spreadsheet, I have only one sheet named as sheet one. So it has selected sheet one. So in whatever sheet, if your Google spreadsheet have multiple sheet, you have to select that from which sheet you want to send the data. Then the next thing it asks us is the webhook URL. Now here in webhook URL, we have to paste the same webhook URL, which we have copied from Public Connect. Just copy it from here and paste it over here. And at last, it is asking us trigger column. Now here you must be thinking, what is this trigger column? 
So trigger column is basically the last data entry column of our Google Sheet. Now suppose guys in this Google Sheet I have three columns: column A, column B, and column C. And in column C, after completely finishing this automation, we are going to update the thumbnail URL. So column B is basically the last column in which I am going to enter some data. So that is why column B is going to be my trigger column. And after that, just click on this send test. Now, when we click on send test, the details or the data of the very first row after the headers is sent to Pavli Connect as a test response. So it is showing us test data sent successfully. Now, this means the details or the data of the very first row is been sent to Pavli Connect. So let's check it. We will go to Pavli Connect, and yes, guys, here you can see that we have received some response, and this is the same response of the same sheet. Which we have in which we have just now added the webhook URL. So we have the details of the first row as response in Pavli Connect. So we have the same title which we have added in our Google Sheet, and then when we will scroll down, we will see the same image URL as well. Using these details, guys, we want to create some images, some dynamic images. Basically, we have a template in Switchboard Canvas, and in that particular template, we want to add this title and this image. So here, guys, the step one of setting up this automation is completed. Just click on this submit button, and then just go to our extensions once again. Once again, go to Pavli Connect webhook, and this time we have to select send on event. So by selecting send on event, we are telling this Google Sheet, we are telling this add-on that whenever the data in a new row is added till our trigger column, immediately, instantly send that same data to Pavli Connect. So here, guys, you will see that we have successfully completed the step one of setting up this automation. Now let's move to step two, and in step two, we have to send this same data to Switchboard Canvas so that the template which we have created in Switchboard Canvas in this template we can add this title and this image and generate a new image. For that, just scroll down, come to our action window, and here in Choose App, search for Switchboard Canvas, select it. And then an action event from the dropdown. Select create image as the action event. Click on connect, and select add new connection. Now here, guys, we have to connect our Switchboard Canvas account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, we just have to go to our Switchboard Canvas account and go to template section. And here, guys, it is basically asking us for the API key of our Switchboard Canvas account. So here, guys, to get the API key, just go to the Switchboard account. On the right side, here you can see the option of view your API key. Just click on it, and from this dialog box, guys, just copy this post API key from here. Go to Pavli Connect and paste it over here, and then just click on Save. And as we click on Save, we will see our Switchboard account gets connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the template. That using which template we want to generate new images. So in the drop down below, you will see a list of all the templates which you have created in Switchboard Canvas. Right now, in my account, I have two template. First one is the blog image, and second one is named as Google My Business Post. And you can see both of the templates over here. So we are going to use template named as blog image in this video. So in this template, we are going to add some text and image. Then it is asking us width and height. That what will be the width and height of the image which we are going to generate using this template. So I want the width to be 1920 and height to be 1080. So just enter your expect ratio, enter your size of the image over here. Then it is asking us background image, text image, and image one. Now here, guys, in this template which I have created, basically I have added three dynamic text or fields over here. The first one was the background image, the image which I have added in the background over here. The second one is the text. So this is the text that what do you want to enter in place of this text? And the third one is this image, that is image one. So you, here you can see the API name as image one, here as text one, and here as the background image. So guys, in this automation, you want you can basically change all of these three things. Right now in this video, I'm just going to change the text and the image over here. I'm not going to change the background image because I want to keep the background image as a stagnant for all of my images which I generate. If you also want to change the background image, then here, guys, you just have to enter a new column of uh, image URL in your Google Sheet, and after getting that data, you just have to enter that URL in this background image URL section. So here, guys, we are not going to work on background images, so let's ignore it and start with text. So what text you want to enter in place of this over here? So we have this text received from Google Sheet inside Pavli Connect facts about Milky Way Galaxy. So we have to basically map this same text, the same title over here, 
And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and in the drop down below, you will see a list of all the responses which we have received from Google Sheet. And out of all of these responses, select the response of title and it will be mapped over here. So basically, whatever title we enter in this column A in the Google Sheet, the same title will be added in this image over here. Then after this, guys, it is asking us image one that what is the image we want to insert in place of this particular image. So here, guys, we have the image URL as well received from Google Sheet. This is the URL. So let's map this image URL over here. Just click on this field and from the drop down, select the response of image URL and map it. And after mapping all the required data, just click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response and this response seems to be a positive response to us. In this response, here you can see that Switchboard has given us a URL. Let's copy this URL from here, go to a new tab and paste it over here. And here we will see that the same image is been generated. So here we have the same template image which we have created in this Switchboard Canvas account. But guys, the text over here is changed. We have the same text which we have entered in our Google Sheet. And also here guys, we have the same image whose link we have added in our Google Sheet over here. So right now here I have added an image URL and you can see the same image has been added in this image generated by Switchboard Canvas. Now this means guys, the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working while till now. So we have successfully generated the image using Switchboard Canvas and added the text in the image from our Google Sheet. Now after this, let's move to the final step where we want to update this same image, same newly generated image into the same Google Sheet in this particular row. Now to do this, just scroll down, click on this add action step button and here in choose app, once again search for Google Sheets. Select Google Sheets and then in trigger event, sorry, in action event from the drop down, select action event as update cell value. So this is the action event, just select it. Click on connect and guys select add new connection. So we have to connect our Google Sheets account once again with Powerly Connect. And this time to make this connection, click on this sign in with Google button, select your Google account, scroll down and click on continue. And as we click on continue, we will see our Google Sheets account will get connected with Powerly Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is to select the spreadsheet that in which spreadsheet we want to update the cell value. And in the drop down below, you will see a list of all the spreadsheets which you have created in your Google Sheet account. So out of all of these, the spreadsheet which we are using in this video is named as block thumbnails. So let's select this spreadsheet over here. After selecting the spreadsheet, it is asking us to select the sheet. So as we all know, in this spreadsheet, we have only one sheet named as sheet one. So that is why we have selected sheet one over here. Then it is asking us for the range that the cell in what range we want to update. So we have to actually enter the cell address, the range of the particular cell where we want to update this link. So here you can see that this is the range. This is C2 is the cell range over here. So we are going to enter C2 over here. But guys, here you will notice that for every new image details we entered over here in this Google Sheet, the row number will keep on changing. Like in this, for this uh, text, for this image and this title of facts about Milky Way Galaxy, we want to update the image, the thumbnail URL in this cell C2. For the next row, we wanted to update in C3. And for the next row, we want to update it in C4. So basically the column C is constant, but the row number will keep on changing. So guys, in Google Sheet response and trigger response from Google Sheet, we have received the row index that from which row we have basically received this response. So we are going to map the same response of row index over here. So just click on this field and from Google Sheet responses, select the row index and map it. And at last it is asking us value that what is the value we want to update. So just click here and from the drop down from Switchboard Canvas responses, select the response or the URL of the newly generated image and map it over here. And after mapping it, just click on save and send test request. So after clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that this URL has been updated in this particular cell. So let's check it. We will go to our Google Sheet. And yes, guys, 
The same th image which we have created using Switchboard Canvas, the link of the same image has been updated. Now this means guys, the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. Now every time guys, we enter the details of a new image, like we enter a new title and a new image URL over here in this Google Sheet, instantly within seconds using this automation, an image will be generated, a thumbnail will be generated with this template in Switchboard Canvas and the link of that thumbnail will be updated in the same row over here as well. So here guys, we have this image basically, we have entered this data and this says facts about planet Jupiter. And in front of this, in this trigger column in column B, once again, we are going to enter the link of an image. So this is the image we have, which we want to enter in this particular thumbnail. So here, let's enter the image link over here. And after entering the image URL over here, image link over here, we will see within seconds using this automation, the thumbnail will be generated and thumbnail link will be updated in this cell. And it is done within seconds. So let's click on this link and we will see using our template in Switchboard Canvas, this thumbnail has been generated. So this is the same image link which we have added in our Google Sheet with the same title, Facts about Planet Jupiter, which we have added over here. And we have this thumbnail created, Facts about Planet Jupiter, and this is the image. So in this way, guys, using this automation, you just have to create a template in Switchboard Canvas, and then you can automatically add images and text in that template from Google Sheet and automate this task. So not just these applications, guys, you can connect plenty of other applications using Powerly Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Powerly Connect account and use this workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Powerly Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Powerly Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestion, and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.